Hi, 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 this is Bernie again from beautiful and sunny San Diego. This is our Freedom Cast, episode 12, and I'm glad that you're all here and listening. Episode 12 is about um, importing an image from VirtualBox or VMware or Hyper-V. So um, many of you might have created VMs on one of those hypervisors, and I've been using VirtualBox here. In case you don't know it, check it out. It's free. It's available for Mac and Windows and Linux. And in my case, I have created an Ubuntu VM inside VirtualBox. Um, I named it BB. So and I can just import it into Antman. I got my Antman here. I just go to Manage Templates and then import an image and then just drag and drop this thing here into Antman. So now it's going to be a template inside uh, the Ansel. So while it was just one VM inside VirtualBox, it's going to be made a template on the Ansel. So that means you can create as many antlets from it as you want. And I'm going to name that um, template here. I call it UDT, meaning Ubuntu with desktop. And then I have to set the bus type. The bus type always have to be has to be the same bus type as we created that thing with in VirtualBox. So I can look it up here. The storage, I did do it as, um, as a SATA controller. So I'm going to select SATA here as well. For the network, I was using Intel uh, 1000, so that's the E1000. That is correct. So now we wait a few moments until everything's uploaded. The upload is nearly finished now. And uh, once it's done, all we have to do is click the import button. And then, oh, the name was taken, so let's take a new name. And then we just click the import button and um, it's only a short moment. And then it's imported. It shows here as a new template. So what we can do now is create a new outlet. And um, let's call it UDT, Ubuntu with desktop. And then we use this uh, new template that we just created. Uh, we give it 4 gigs of RAM, two CPUs, and the IP address that's pre-populated. And it's created. We just get a nice um, message, a dialog box that tells us what we can do with our new outlet. So here it is now. Um, it stopped, so we can just start it. And what I've done inside this virtual machine, I have installed Ubuntu with the Unity desktop, and I've installed a VNC server and XRDP. So with XRDP, we can access that Ubuntu using RDP, just as if it were a Windows applet. So what we can do now is we can use our um, Microsoft Remote Desktop. So let's start that. Um, it's right here, Microsoft Remote Desktop. Um, we have it here, and I have that Ubuntu desktop already um, pre-installed here. Let's do a quick edit. I have the IP address of my Ansel here, and I gave it port 3012. So as you remember from the other FreedomCast, we just use port 30 and then append to that the number of the antlet. So in our case, this UDT is 101112, so we made it uh, 3012. So that's all there is, and we can just uh, double click it, and then via RDP, we're connecting to our Ubuntu Amlet, which is running on the Ansel right now. So this is not a local VM anymore, as it was in VirtualBox, um, but um, it's, it's a virtual machine that's running in the Ansel. And I can just use the Ubuntu desktop here, um, play with my with my file manager, Nautilus as it's called, and I can open a terminal here. 
um, do some stuff in the terminal if I want and then um, yeah that's it so that's cool stuff I can move I can move my VMs from my desktop PC or Mac onto the Ansel let them run there let them use up CPU there and not anymore on my desktop let them use the RAM there and not on my desktop anymore so um, we think that's uh, that's a very cool use case for an Ansel. Alrighty, so that was our episode 12 of the Freedom Cast. In case you liked it, remember to hit that like button just below the screen here. And uh, if you want to be more generous, leave us a nice comment as well. Alright, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.